Hello and welcome to Joe's Crafty Cauldron, my channel about craft and Harry Potter. Um, today's video is the next Gobstone Alley unboxing. So this is the second unboxing um, that comes through at the end of the month. Um, this is their May box. A little bit of admin before I open this. It's 32 euros um, a box. You have to re buy the box each month so it's not a renewing subscription service um you can buy the boxes in one three and twelve month uh, sort of bundles um but if you're doing it in the one month you they sell the box for the next month up until the end of that month um and then they move on to the next month's box. Um, so as I said, it's 32 euros for a single box plus postage to wherever you are internationally. Um, when you order your box, you choose your house and you choose your t-shirt size and whether you want to have a unisex or a ladies t-shirt. Um, so that's all the admin for this box. Um, it's a different, it's a different type of box this month, um, or different packaging, should I say. Um, on previous months, the packaging has been wrapped in what looks like a lot of black, black tape. Um, and there's been a lot of it and lots of bubble wrap as well. So it's probably, probably wasn't packed in the uh, most... Um, environmentally friendly way but they are changing how they have packaged it and they have also changed who they use to deliver these boxes as well um for this month um so it seems to be better i think it was really good it sort of i got a tracking email and it came through quite swiftly actually after the tracking and it told me exactly when it was going to arrive um, and it was great so there is a lot less bubble wrap this month so it has just one, one wrap round of bubble wrap. Let me just move this box out of the way. Um, yes, so it's only got one layer of bubble wrap this month. So still have issues getting into it, but there we go. So, so no speeded up video needed this month for me to unwrap it. Um, so there we have it they've i think this is actually a different looking box as well so we've got the, it's their flying parcel um on there we've got um our post stamps we've got platform nine and three quarters we've got um hogwarts logo there we've got their logo on the bottom um what else have we got and then on the front we've got the muggle worthy lock from Newt Scamander's case. So it is very much meant to look like his case. So let's get into it. So in your box, you will have in the top a piece of tissue paper which indicates your house color. So I'm Ravenclaw, so I've got blue in the top of my box. Um, each box has 12 to 15 items a month in here. Um, a little additional thing um so i let me find the correct one so i ordered separately um a additional candle so each box has a candle in it i ordered an extra candle when i purchased my box so they have included that candle in this box um these used to be wrapped in bubble wrap they're now wrapped in corrugated cardboard which is really good um so that's easy to recycle that um, rather than the bubble wrap, which can't be. Um, so the candle that I bought, so you, if you get this box, you will not get this candle. Um, so the candle that I got is the chocolate frog candle. So this was a restock item. So I think they stocked it previously, went out of stock a while ago, and they've recently had it back in. So this is um, by their Incendio Candles Company, um, which is handmade and 100% vegan. Um, it's seven ounces um and comes in a nice little glass jar so i asked if i could have it in the glass jar because i don't know if they do it in the tin they do it in different sizes and they say it comes in a tin or a glass jar so i don't know if that's dependent on what size candle you get but i wanted to be sure that i got the glass jar ones because i wanted to, it to match all of my other candles so you will not get that in your box that was an extra because i'm trying to order all the back candles that maybe have been in it in previous boxes um so 
this month's candle that you will get um, is again it's an incendio candle it's 100% vegan handmade and this month it is sherbet lemon I don't know if there's something dodgy about the labels this looks really I don't know it looks like it's got wet so we've got sherbet lemon there it just looks a bit faded that might be my by design um but it just looks a little bit faded the one thing i didn't do just going back to the chocolate frog is if you open them that smells very chocolatey there is nothing on top of that it's just a plain plain brown candle but some of them have things in them so let's take a look at the sherbet lemon one. Oh, that smells lemony no surprise there um, again this one is just a plain candle sometimes they have like glitter on the top or they have like I think one of the other ones had like lavender or something um, on top there but yes so that is this month's candle then um, you will get a lot of these sort of packing peanuts in there there seem to be a lot less in this box which I'm liking um, I can see another sort of jar looking thing in there so you always get a wearable t-shirt or jumper so nice burgundy colour and it says, uh, what's that say? So Order of the Phoenix Secret Keeper. There, I don't know if you can see that because I can't see it. Um, there, so that's quite a nice colour t-shirt. Um, I like that. Quite, I'd say that's subtle. I like a subtle t-shirt. That seems reasonably subtle. It's not massive and in your face. So that's one thing. So we've got another sort of jar type thing again wrapped in corrugated cardboard which is great okay so we've got prefects bathroom take a warm relaxing bath that will ease the pain in joints and muscles and improve skin condition ingredients natural peat salt magnesium sulfate bio rose oils lavender and roses so on there we've got a mermaid on the top of prefect's bathroom and on the side it's got a label that says proclamation educational decree number 173 prefects are not allowed to use their bathroom after 11 p.m it's umbrage time i think that's a fictional proclamation that they have just made up for this the purpose of this i don't think that was a real proclamation oh that does smell quite nice so in the top of there we've got all the roses and the bath salts that does smell really good um i have quite a sensitive skin so i will probably be wary about trying that out but i will give it a go and if it's not too bad then i will continue to use it but i just have to be careful then digging in my box the next thing we have you always get a packet of cozy elves tea so this is umbridge's pink tea so ingredients celion black tea rose aroma rose flowers vanilla jasmine flowers wild strawberry strawberry sugar hearts made of rice flour sugar peanut oil coloring um, and then rose aroma one heap teaspoon for a mug brew temperature and brew for five minutes um, I won't open these because I think they are resealable. Oh, there we go. Oh, that smells quite nice. So in there, I'm tr going to try not to tip it out. So there, you've got lots of little bits in there to make your tea. Um, it's very much an umbrage theme, I think, to this, except for the sherbet lemon so far. Ooh, this is pretty. Sorry, that was the weirdest noise I've ever made so it's a wooden thing with laser cut on it you've got unum galleon 3rd of november da 15 after 7 15 or is oh 3rd of november da is after 7 maybe so that's meant to be a print of the magical galleon that Hermione um, enchanted to show the time of the next DA meeting, I'm assuming. There. Uh, might have to figure out what I can hang that on. Then, the next item is a packet of Bertie Bott's Every Flavour Beans. Then, 
yes, I can see some more stuff in the bottom that is making this very umbrage themed and I don't particularly like umbrage. So, or cats. <laughs> so if it's anything cat related, I'm not gonna like it. Um, next we have a, what is a licensed product, um, is it's a Deathly Hallows pin badge. I don't think I've got one of those ones. Then we have a little badge which has got, oh it's a mirror, it's not a badge, it's a little, it's a pocket mirror and so on there we've got a little kitten which is a ginger tabby cat so I can't really complain, that is quite a cute cat. Um, and it says I will have order, so that is a little mirror, I'm not going to show you it fully on because there's an absolute mess behind it. Then we have a Chocolate Frog Wizard card, so we have Severus Snape, so these aren't these aren't the real ones that you get in sort of a chocolate chocolate frog um, from like the studio tour or things like that, um, but they're their own version of them. So we've got Severus Snape. Professor Severus Snape was a half-blood wizard serving as potions master, defense against the darkness professor, and headmaster of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, as well as a member of the Order of Phoenix and a Death Eater. His double life played an extremely important role. Um, in both of the Wizarding Wars. During the Battle of Hogwarts, Lord Voldemort killed himself, killed him even, using his snake. His portrait hangs in the headmaster's office thanks to Harry Potter who discovered the truth about Snape's, Snape's life and allegiance. Then... Oh, we do have something wrapped in the old faithful black. What? Seems like a bin liner. <laughs> That's, that's all I can think. I know it's not a bin liner. It's like black cling film. So it's a bottle. So last month we they tended to do like potion, a potion in each box, and last month we didn't get one. So obviously they are back to doing a bottle of potion. So this number thirty nine dragon's blood. So it's a red potion. It does move around. I think other ones they've kind of been stuck. Um, but that is, I wonder if I can open it, maybe I don't want to open it because the box is currently falling off my lap and I can imagine this going absolutely everywhere. So that's a potion or potion bottle of uh, dragon's blood. Then the next thing we have is a little brown paper package tied up with string. I'm not going to break into the sound of music, no one needs to hear that. Um, so these are, you always get, there's the, the Harry Potter trading card game, um, by, I think it was Wizards of the Coast or something. Um, it was around sort of 2001 sort of time. Um, in each of these you get a selection of cards from that, that trading card deck. So we've got, um, Cauldron Shop. They are very shiny, so you, the chances of you hit seeing these. Cordon shop. Sorry about that. Camera cut out just as I was going through those. So, um, as I said, first one is Cauldron Shop. Then we have Mopsus Potion. I can't really get the right lighting here. Mopsus Potion. It's not very easy to see them. Uh, we've then got Tawny Owl. We've got Ev Evaneski. Not sure what that is. We've got Ouch for someone being hit by a bludger. We've got Stream of Flames. And then finally, we've got Care of Magical Creatures. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got seven, seven trading cards in that packet today. Just pop them back away. having issues with the packaging. They are not going back in the packaging. There we go, let's try there. I don't know how they were wrapped, so I'm just baking it up. That'll have to do. Um, then the next thing we have is a pink envelope, just a blank pink envelope. So it's gonna be something umbrage related I can tell so in here 
we've got I'm not sure if I actually like this we've got a postcard which has umbrage on it on the front and it says something on it that I'm not actually gonna say um yeah it rhymes it says trust no what should be which but rhymes with which uh yeah not sure about that one no not really gonna rate that so i think i'm at the bottom i haven't really done a thorough dig around in here so i might find something else um but you always get a piece of paper that tells you what was in your box so this month it is written on a proclamation so it says Proclamation Educational Decree number 193. All Gobstone Alley products are banned. Any student found in possession of these items will be classified as Ministry's enemy and a member of so-called Dumbledore's army. List of forbidden items now includes T-shirt, Prefix Bathroom Sea Salt, Bertie Bot's Every Flavour Beans, Dumbledore's Army Propaganda Postcard. Oh, that's the thing with umbrage on it, being stupid. Enchanted wooden coaster. Um, so rather than doing the coin, so it says this way, um, Dumbledore's army could communicate about their secret meetings at Aberforth's pub with a wooden coaster rather than a actual gallium. Deathly Hallows pin, sherbet lemon incendio candle, which is made of lemongrass and honey, cosy elves tea, dragon's blood vial, wisdom card Severus Snape, Harry Potter trading card game cards and Umbridge's pocket mirror. So I had found all the items without doing that much of a dig in the box. Um, so yes, that is this month's Gobstone Alley box. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about this month's box. I'm not. I'm not as blown away by what's in it as I normally am. So I think I'm a little bit, I'm a tiny bit disappointed just because I don't, I don't like Umbridge and I don't like cats. So I think because those have been a couple of the sort of main sort of handmade things, I don't know. I'm just not sure about this box. I really don't know what to think about it. I do like that you get a lot of items though. So you definitely, this is, it is a slightly more expensive box, but you get a lot of items for that, um, which I think is good um, because other boxes you pay a lot of money for and you don't get a lot of items. Um, but yeah, I'm just not sure really how I feel about it. Nothing's kind of, stood out amazingly for me in this box I don't think for this month yeah so I'm not sure I can't shut it I just there's no way any of that's going back in um so yeah I'm not sure about this um box but if you liked the look of what was in there I have included a link to their website down below as I say it is a monthly box um at the time I'm posting this Mm, I don't know if I'll have it uploaded before the end of the month um, so you might have run out of time to get the June box um, but sometimes they do they do leave it I think until they sell out so I think it's the 31st of the month or until they sell out I say the 31st of the month that's because it's 31, 31 days in May uh, they do it until the last day of the month or until they sell out so potentially they will keep it running slightly into June until they're all gone um, so I have included the link below. You might have a chance to get the June box. So if you did like the look of those items um, and would be interested in giving it a try, it is only a, you only have to buy one month at a time. Um, I think the only unfortunate thing is that if you want to try one month and just see how you feel about that month's box, there's often not time between you... Because sometimes this has arrived what two days so it arrived today so this has arrived two days before the end of the month so it's the 30th so um if i hadn't had a chance to unbox it today i would have lit and if they close it tomorrow i would have literally had one day 
to decide do I want to do this for the next month and order it um so it does cut it quite tight for you being able to order it if you do like it or whether you just take the risk and you order the next months as well just in case um but anyway this is normally my favorite box this is normally the one i look forward to the most because it's sort of the most unique it's got the handmade items in it i do love the candles i love the candles so much um but yeah i've included a link below i'm now just repeating myself um if you enjoyed this video and want to see more please hit the subscribe button if you like this video hit like let me know in the comments down below if there's anything in this box that you liked um in particular um and i will see you in my next unboxing which should either be the second of my geek gear world of wizardry boxes or it will be the loot crate box for this month um anyway that's all from me and i will see you very soon thanks bye